Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here, and today I'm bringing you a size comparison video. Okay, let's jump into the size comparison video itself. SH Monsters has created a fantastic line of figures here, and they're all properly scaled. Godzilla is 5.5 inches tall and 11.5 inches wide, and this is because of his tail here, so he's almost a foot. Mecha Godzilla is 6 inches tall. Space Godzilla is 6 inches tall and 12 inches wide, and he beats out Godzilla's tail just because of the crystals on the end of his tail. Then Magra is 5 and a half inches tall. Now please remember, you know, these are all rough estimates. A lot of these figures kind of fell in like, you know, the 3 eighths and, you know, 16th margin, so I just kind of rounded up. But these figures are definitely nice, definitely neat, definitely cool, and definitely properly scaled. So first, let's compare Godzilla with Space Godzilla as far as, you know, height and um, their tail widths. So we have here, we have Godzilla here, and then you have Space Godzilla. Let's see. So initially you can greatly see a, a height difference, and that is by an inch, so that's pretty cool. Very cool there. And then as far as the tails are concerned, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I can demonstrate this the best. Um, you can tell, let me line these up. Space Godzilla beats out Godzilla um, just by half an inch because these additional spikes, so they do extend beyond the frame here. So you can see that pretty well. So it's pretty cool. So we'll just go ahead and compare Magra and Mecha Godzilla here. So we'll put these two back. So here you have Magra next to Mecha Godzilla. So very nice, very neat, and very cool. So you know, uh, Mecha Godzilla is just slightly taller than Magra. That's um, by half an inch. Magra is uh, five and a half inches tall. Mecha Godzilla is um, six inches tall. So. Um, Pretty cool there. So a very nice figure comparison. So, you know, Mecha Godzilla, Space Godzilla, they kind of size up um, pretty well. Pretty cool. And then Godzilla, next to Space Godzilla, you know, by an inch. So pretty cool. So pretty cool size comparison going on right here. So next, I'm going to go ahead and compare the SH Monsters figures in relation to other figure lines. Okay, let's do a size comparison as it relates to other figure lines. So, uh, on the left here we have SH Fig Arts Kamen Rider 1. In the center we have Ultra Act Ultraman Gaia. And on the right we have Super Robot Chogokin Great Mazinger. Now please note, I will be reviewing Great Mazinger later this week, so uh, stay tuned for that. So first, let's check out Kamen Rider 1 here. And we're going to compare Kamen Rider 1 with Godzilla. So Godzilla is five inches tall and Kamen Rider 1 is four and a half inches tall. So um, a pretty cool size comparison going on here. So we have what, half an inch, I think? Yeah, so just a half an inch taller, so pretty cool. And one thing to note, you know, um, Kamen Rider did team up with Ultraman, so those figures are, um, you know, nicely scaled together, somewhat, we'll say. So Ultraman here, Kamen Rider, so that's pretty cool. So then with uh, Ultraman Gaia here, he is uh, five and a half inches tall, and Godzilla is five inches tall, so he beats him just by half an inch. So that's some nice scaling going on, because if you remember, uh, the original Ultraman did fight a variation of Godzilla. It was pretty much um, just Godzilla with an awkward fin around his neck, so that was pretty cool. And then something also to note, they're going to be re-releasing the Ultra Act Ultraman figure, and this figure is going to have some huge improvements. The original figure had a lot of loose joints and some uh, QC issues. But um, this new figure that's going to be released is going to have the uh, same construction and, um, you know, fantastic posability as the later Ultrak figures like um, Ultraman Gaia, um, Ultraman Agul, and um, Zoffy. And pretty much Ultraman Zoffy is exactly how uh, the original Ultraman will look, uh, minus the jewels around his neck. So, definitely cool. So, that's some nice comparison here with uh, Ultraman Gaia and Godzilla. And then lastly, we have Super Robot Chogokin Great Mazinger with Godzilla. Now, um, Great Mazinger here, he is four and a half inches tall. So that's some pretty cool size comparison going on right here. Whoops, his boomerang fell off. I don't know where that's at, but we won't worry about that for right now. So this is uh, pretty cool. Very nice size comparison going on right here. So pretty cool. 
And uh, one thing to note, um, the Sola Chagokin figures seem to uh, kind of tower over the SH Monstars figures. So if you were to do some kind of fantasy matchup, it's not going to work with these Sola Chagokin figures from what I've noticed. So this is the GX-02 Great Mazinger, and he pretty much towers over Godzilla. So, you know, for, um, you know, fantasy battle's sake, um, I've never had the impression that Great Mazinger and Mazinger Z were um, massively huge robots. So... I prefer the scaling of the Super Robot Chagokin Great Mazinger with the uh, SH Monsters Godzilla. So, pretty cool. So, in relation to other figures, we'll check out uh, Space Godzilla here. So, Space Godzilla as compared to Common Rider. Pretty cool. So, Space Godzilla is uh, six inches tall. Pretty cool there. Ultraman Gaia, five and a half inches tall. So pretty cool there, pretty cool comparison going on. And then uh, Great Mazinger here. So you know, Space Godzilla pretty much towers over him. So I think that's more of an appropriate scaling, if anything. You know, none of this is really intentional, but it works out pretty cool if you you know photograph your figures and do some kind of fantasy battle type thing or some kind of fantasy stop motion thing. So definitely cool. And then we'll go ahead and compare them to uh, Space Godzilla to wrap this up. So. Space Godzilla is, uh, oh, excuse me, Mecha Godzilla. Sorry about that. Mecha Godzilla is six inches tall. Great Mazinger is four and a half. So then we have Ultra Ga Ultraman Gaia here. Pretty cool. And then Common Rider one. So definitely cool. So um, the size comparisons are pretty cool and, um, you know, pretty much a neat coincidence. So they do kind of scale. Um, Fairly nice with other figures, but for the most part, as far as the SH Monsters lines com uh, concerned, you know, they're all scaled very well together. So, definitely um, very nice, very neat, and very cool. So, this concludes this size comparison video. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.